good afternoon, I guess, YouTube. Today is August the 3rd, and I'm adding a Chamberlain clicker um, garage door opener to my house. My daughter is moving in with me, and she's going to need access to the garage, and I um, decided to make a video because I had problems before programming the remote. Um, this is the one I bought a uh, couple when I bought the house. Um, when I bought this one, it came with all these instructions. Um, but to save you from reading all of this and to try to figure it out, I said, "Hey, you know what? Let me make a video since a lot of people are going to be wondering how to program these remotes." Uh, a couple of things. One, these remotes have PID. Um, uh, what are they called? PID, uh, uh, I'm sorry, DIP, uh, programming switches, which are these little switches right here. What you do is you get the code from your garage door opener, and let me show you mine. Let's walk over here. What you do, step up here. This is my garage door opener, and the DIPs are right here. They're, they're behind the garage door opener. There's two types of garage doors openers. There's DIPs, which are these, and then the learn button, which you just t touch a little button and it learns the system. This one's a Stanley. It's a really old, old, old uh, a garage door opener. Um, I think this was back in like 2003, I think. Um, I can't really remember, but it's really old, so. Let's go back here. So what you do is that DIP number, which was on your garage door opener, you copy it to the remote, okay? In this particular case, um, I copied it and it didn't work. And so on the bottom of the instructions, it says to reverse reverse them so if it says one on the garage door opener then you put it at um zero if it's two you put it at, you just just reverse the buttons up down down up or whatever and stuff and then to program it here's the key it, it just doesn't turn on by itself you gotta it still has to actually learn the program so what you do is on your remote is you hold down the program button this is underneath your cover you hold it down and it's going to light up okay and then what you do is you press the button that you want to program until the garage door opener works. And I think it's about 10 times. So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 times. Once it, you hear it, then you hold that, you press the button back again, so it holds the program. And you can see the garage door opening and closing. And then just so you see, I'm gonna hit it again, and it opens it up again. So. So the trick is, is get the, get the PID numbers off the garage door opener Copy it on your remote that you bought. I bought this one at Home Depot. It was about $33, $34. Um, program it the way it is on your garage door opener. If it doesn't work that way, then flip them around. Just do the opposite of what's on your garage door opener, and you should be able to work. Hopefully, this will help somebody, and have a great day.